everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a little showcase on my must-have food mods for The Sims 4. I've been getting a ton of questions lately, especially because I've been doing more current household updates on where do I get my cookbooks, how do I find my custom recipes, what food mods do I suggest. So in this video, we are just going to go over everything that I'm currently using. And again, this is going to be more of a showcase, so I'm not necessarily going to like deep dive into every single mod because that would take a long time to do. If you're looking for an easy beginner friendly way to start experimenting with custom recipes in The Sims 4, I highly suggest checking out the Granny's Cookbook. You don't actually need to download any custom recipes in order to get it to function, and the cookbook itself is found within Build Buy. Once you purchase your cookbook, you'll place it on the counter, and there you'll have access to all of its recipes. Once you click it, there will be like a little category for snacks. You can pick from like cold drinks, hot drinks, and then miscellaneous snacks. Over here in Granny's Recipes, you'll have desserts, breakfast, barbecue, appetizers and meals. Once you actually select on a certain category, your sim will have a ton of different recipes to choose from. If you're looking to have a little more control over what recipes go into your game, then you need to check out Braze and Lotus's cookbook. It's more customizable. It also organizes in-game recipes as well. And you can even take it a step further and you can actually craft ingredients for your food or purchase them via the Braze and delivery service. We'll talk about how you can go even deeper to where you can download customizable harvestables to actually create the flour that goes into the bread that goes into your toast and eggs that you make in the morning. But again, you have control over how in-depth you would like to get with it. This is probably one of my favorite recipe books. So you can cook by category. You can even cook by culture, which I think is amazing. You can cook by diet. This is probably my personal favorite. So here we have like vegetarian, we have lactose-free, and then we even have like a healthy category over here with sugar-free carob coconut cake. My personal favorite, honeydew melon slices. I love being able to cut up the honeydew. And then there's even other like, you know, options here like a cricket meal which I think is an actual in-game option. We've got like a turkey taco casserole, whole wheat pancake. So if your sim is on a little bit of a diet they are able to eat healthy as well as vegetarian and even a cult is in here. You can cook by season so there's only summer recipes that I have currently available. There's a bunch of different drinks you can do specialty, uh, seasonal party drinks, party nectars and brews, bar drinks and then over here as I was mentioning earlier you can actually create your ingredients. So we can create hoagie rolls, we can do sandwich rolls, pain, I don't know what this is, pain, Toscano, milk bread, and as I mentioned earlier, if you don't just want to download the recipes, but you actually want to craft the ingredients for those recipes, here is a section on Brazen Lotus's website called Crafting. And basically what it will let you do is you can either purchase the ingredients, again, using the Brazen Delivery Service, or your Sims can craft them by scratch using their skills, or they can use special crafting objects to make them. Crafting objects that aren't already in game can be found in the mod section. If you would like to narrow down your search for specific crafting items, you can use the filters down below. So here's just a quick look at all of the various ingredients that you could create from scratch. Remember, there are special objects that will allow you to make butter, create cheese, even press different types of oils or dry out your own coffee beans. It honestly doesn't matter what ingredient you want to create, Brazen Lotus has it available for you. They've even boiled down the ability for your sims to craft ingredients one step further by introducing new items that you can harvest and gather, such as cucumber, artichoke, walnuts, dill, and they've also added in new shellfish that you can actually find in the wild, such as shrimp, crabs, and even mussels. One of my personal favorite is honeydew melon. Obviously, if you have honeydew melon in your game, not only can you harvest it and sell it, you can even chop it up and serve it to your sims via Brazen's custom recipe. If you do decide to take on crafting and harvesting, I highly suggest checking out the mods category so that way you can get the appropriate tools to be able to actually craft those ingredients, such as like the cheese making skill. You can harvest for supplies. There's the liquid press to make the oils and things of that nature. Um, and then there's also various ways that you can like store your harvestables or like your groceries and things like that. There's even like drink trays that you can display your custom drinks on and even like this little tea set as well as different like a retail stands so that your sims can actually sell the things that they craft. In addition, Raisin has a mod that allows harvestables to fill more hunger. Basically, the mod increases the amount of harvestables 
Festival will fill a Sims hunger bar when eaten, which I think honestly should have been a thing all along. But if you love for your Sim to snack on an apple and you wish it would satiate their hunger a little bit more, this is definitely a mod that you should check out. If you're looking for a mod that's kind of in between the Granny's Cookbook and then the Braising Lotus Homestead Cookbook, then the Seriously Complete Cooking Overhaul mod should be right up your alley. You are able to cook recipes using ingredients to make them cheaper or use a simple lot treat for ingredients to be required for recipes, which definitely creates a very realistic experience, which then means your Sim would have to like go to the grocery store via the phone or computer or rabbit hole. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. I can click on my Sim. I could have them go shopping. They can go to the Greenfield grocery store. They can go to the locals farmer market. They can even pick up items from the veterinary clinic. And then there is a NYX at night occult shop. And if you're looking to snack some fish, there's the Wicker Man's Warl Fish Market. That is so hard to say. And it's only open from Friday to Sunday. So I love how like there's certain times and even I think like days of the week that you could actually go to these shops. There is an insane amount of detail that has gone into this mod. So me showing you every little feature is just virtually impossible. But I am going to have my Sim go to the grocery store because there's this really cool feature that I discovered lately that you can download in addition to this mod. And I just think it makes it so much worth it or so much more worth it. Also, you can buy cookbooks using Seriously's Complete Cooking Overhaul mod that allows you to actually grab cookbooks based on different expansions. So here we have like high school recipes, island recipes, seafood recipes, just a bunch of different recipe books. OK, so I sent Logan made it to the grocery store. Keep in mind, groceries are very expensive, very much like real life. But you can even sort which category you're shopping for. So if I wanted just to look at all the meat options, these are the meat options currently available. We have a bag of frozen chicken nuggies. There's a half carton of eggs. What else is there? Actually, there's a bunch of different eggs. You can get colored eggs. I think if you have cottage living, which is kind of crazy, you can also pick up like a package of pork, poultry, red meat, shrimp. There's baking supplies. So we have like flour, cans of dough, sugar, and then just, you know, a tin of matcha powder. Uh, we have flowers, breakfast and cereals. So we have granola, just regular cereal, a box of instant oatmeal. I'm actually going to grab this box of cereal real quick because I want to show you guys what's really cool about it. And then I think I'm going to grab some bread. We're going to do a loaf of bread. You can even grab some tortillas. Let me see. What else can we eat? So you can shop very much like this is like the real deal for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to grab maybe some soda. You can grab a six pack of like, I don't know, some sage green tea. And then maybe you want to grab uh, some dairy so you can pick up like some milk obviously you're going to need milk for your cereal, right? And then there's even like yogurt too. So you could have your Sim eat like little containers of yogurt. And what else is there? Um, We got bread already. So you should probably pick up going back to the meat section. We should grab a half carton of eggs. And then this way your Sim has like a nice little variety of things that they can make. So again, if you have that simple living lot trade on, they would literally be contained to only these items that they could actually make meals with. With Seriously's Complete Cooking Overhaul Mod, there's there's a bunch of in-game items that have been turned functional, such as this little bread box over here. I think it's called like the bread box of holding. Well, now we can open up the bread box's inventory and then toss a loaf of bread in it. So now it's officially holding a loaf of bread. It is the bread box of holding. We can even name it. We can store other groceries. We can purchase cookbooks from it, which I find to be a little bit odd, but it's just something we can do. I don't think we're actually able to open up or slice up the bread while it's actually in the bread box. So you would then have to kind of reopen the inventory like I've done here, drag it onto your counter. And then this way we can now open it. And once we open it, it'll turn into individual bread slices. Logan has put all of her groceries into the fridge. So whenever you open up an item, it'll get automatically placed into your fridge. But if you wanted to store your item, say you didn't want everything kind of cluttering up your fridge, I'll show you what it looks like to have it actually in your fridge's inventory. So let me just go to more choices and open it up. There we have like six, six slices of bread. And from here, when we do cook um, like eggs and toast, it'll actually pull from these bread slices and thus making the cost of that item significantly cheaper. Or again, if you have simple living on, then you you need to have all of the required ingredients to be able to cook that dish in the first place. But 
If you don't want to clutter up your fridge's inventory, you could also download a mod that allows you to have a functioning cabinets and use them as storage, which will allow me to take my non-perishable items and drag them directly into my cabinet. I could also rename the storage. So if I wanted to say groceries and kind of be our catch all cupboard, and then when we hover over the cabinet, it'll simply say groceries. Quick correction. So the simple living lot trait isn't a lot trait after all. It's actually a lot challenge and it comes with cottage living. Ice Munman is also a another great creator that has a nice selection of foods, drinks, and desserts and snacks from all over the world, plus various functioning objects such as this Insta cup that is great for hiking trips and days out. You can fill this flask for 20 simoleons and enjoy up to five beverages of your choice. Quick little side note, I did do a showcase on 15 mini mods that make the Sims better. In that video, I've included some more mods that help make food prep and mealtime much more pleasant, including being able to select which leftover Sims retrieve from the fridge. The healthy drink mod by Little Miss Sam is another one of my absolute faves. It adds this new interaction to your fridge called healthy drink in which it allows you to select one of the following beverages. Your Sim will also get a buff and they even increase the fitness skill very slightly. Teens and children will also gain a bit of responsibility when consuming a healthy juice. As a part of the showcase, I also wanted to feature some of my favorite functional food items that also add some brand new recipes to your game. We're going to start off with the Juice-O-Matic by Seriously Sims. The Juice-O-Matic allows your Sims to take any of their favorite EA fruits or veggies and make them into a fresh squeezed juice. In total, there are 22 different flavors to choose from. So we have like carrot juice, muckleberry, pear, there's garlic, potato, grape, orange juice, spinach, pomegranate, and strawberry, even tomato juice. But if a protein shake is more of your thing, there is this functional blender by Salmic and it is called Mix the Shake. It will give your Sims six different options to choose from and if they actually consume the protein shake before they work out, they'll actually build muscle faster. It will still have a very slight effect after they do some strength training, but it wouldn't be as effective if perhaps they had consumed it before they decided to work out. There's a couple functional toasters on the market, but this one by Necro Dog absolutely takes the crust. I guess if you have a high enough cooking skill, you can flavorize a toaster. That's a little strange, but let me just show you the types of toasts you can make. So you can make hummus, cream cheese, a butter toast. You can do peanut butter and banana toast, black berry, avocado, which we have over here, strawberry and jam, whipped cream and buried toast, <gasps> fried bean toast, Nutella. I'm actually just going to have Logan make some whipped cream, whipped cream and berry toast. The cost is actually pretty fair. It's only three simoleons for a single serving, but you can go all the way up to a party size, which again, for $13, I think is actually a bargain. So let me have Logan come over here really quick. She is going to grab some ingredients though from her fridge and then she's going to plop the bread in to the toaster for toasting. I like how it's fully animated too. Like it actually pops up and then once she has the toast on the counter, she's going to bring it over and then she is going to garnish it. So here she is spreading all of the goodness on the toast. And if we get up close, you can see how realistic it looks. Although I will say, okay, salt and pepper for this seems a little weird and it kind of looks like cereal, but the avocado toast looks absolutely amazing. This rice cooker by Rex is pretty badass. There's two different variations within the set. This one's just a little more modern. You're not just limited to cooking rice. You can actually cook a variety of different foods like chili. You can do a whole bunch of different stews. We've even got gumbo in the mix. And over here, we're able to cook congee. So we have like rice porridge. We have black rice porridge, yam congee. Since it is a rice cooker, yeah, you can clearly cook rice. So you can do Lazy Sims rice treats. You can do Lazy Sims meaty rice treat. Japanese cat rice, just traditional rice, even plasma rice. There's a bunch of other options here, but I can't go through every single one. For some of these appliances, I do have independent in-depth mod reviews on them. And if it applies to that particular appliance, I'll make sure on my website at hexurbansims.com that I also list the video in case you guys do want to see a little more detail on any of these functional appliances. So once you've finished cooking your dish, you can actually hover over the rice cooker. It'll tell you what 
dish is in the rice cooker so we just have rice the quality it'll give you a little description about it and then depending on how many servings you have cooked it'll tell you how many you have left so clearly we only have one serving left so we're gonna go and just eat that serving or pick it up here I do have a bowl of Japanese cat rice so even with the rice cooker the textures are absolutely beautiful if your sim is single and loving it or perhaps the only sim in the household that actually enjoys the taste of caffeine tea coffee things of that nature then the magnificent personal brewer baravachine is absolutely for you basically this is the Keurig of the sims 4 and it allows your sim to brew a single cup of tea coffee i'm gonna have logan come over here and brew up some bee tea you can actually see the cup filling up there i think all of the cup textures look pretty similar like if you look at regular just pitch black coffee that I have over here it almost looks exactly the same as the coffee that she just brewed I don't know maybe it's like slightly different another one of my all-time favorite functioning items is the aqua pura water cooler by menace man this is seriously gold I love putting it in like office settings or gyms for instance like putting it you know next to the workout equipment because your sims can come in grab a glass of water and feel instantly rehydrated it's crazy because from the description of this mod back in the day sims weren't even allowed to grab a glass of water from the sink that's actually a feature that was introduced later into the sims 4 and it's absolutely wild to me the last mod in our list is essentially a kitchen appliances pack by max 20 it comes in two different parts don't worry i'll make sure to link both of those on my website but basically what this does is this just kind of expands on your appliances it doesn't really add um, brand new functioning appliances but it gives you a nice little variety of functioning items that already exist in game but also some items to decorate your kitchen with just in case maybe you don't want to have all the extra recipes and things introduced into your game so we do have a new coffee maker here is the little refrigerator this microwave actually blinks when you're in live mode and then here are some decor items we have a blender a toaster both of those don't actually function this tea maker over here does allow you to brew teas and I think you could probably brew coffee too this is a decor mixer Mixer. And the last item in the pack is this functioning trash can that actually opens when you place items into it or when you take the trash out. I really like this trash can. In fact, I really like this set. It's very clean and minimalistic. I feel like it will fit in a variety of different homes. Anyways, you guys, that is my showcase on all of the functioning food items or just food mods that I currently use for The Sims 4. If there's anything that you want to pick up here today, be sure to visit my website. Again, it is xurbansimsx.com. I will have everything that we talked about here provided in the blog post that's linked in the description and with that said I hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun it does not shine and I will see you all next time